Hi, I'm Pam Damore, the Decorating Diva, and if you've decided to make um, our snowflake wallet, I want to show you how we did the applique in the embroidery design. Because if you've never done an applique by machine embroidery, um, this is like a nice little tip for you. So this is what your design will look like after it's embroidered before you make your wallet. So if you follow me to the embroidery machine, I have the design loaded, and I've done the first step already. So I've already done, oops, that's a fuzzy there. I've already done some outline stitching and I've sprayed the back of my white fabric with KK2000. I actually backed it with a stabilizer and so now we're just going to press start. So what's going to happen is the machine is going to stitch all the way around. Now that it's done, it's outlined our snowflake, we're gonna cut away the white fabric, and then our next step, if you look at my screen, my next step is to do a satin stitch. So um, you can go get a little snack or have a cup, make a cup of coffee. I'm gonna be cutting this away. There's several scissors that you may wanna choose from. I just brought some up here to show you. This is a one that has kind of like a bend in it so you can get your fabric in like this to cut. This one also has a bend and the bend ones are nice if you're cutting in the hoop and we will be leaving this in the hoop. These are my favorite ones. These have a little sharp point and I can get real close. So I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna cut real close to, I'm gonna move up here so I get better light here. I'm gonna get real close here. Sometimes I need to switch hands here, so I'm going in the right direction. That finished here. The next step is to put this back on the machine and now it's going to sew a satin stitch all the way around mine. Now that we're finished stitching the um, outline satin stitch, we're gonna go to the next design, and that's gonna give us the outline of our star. I'm gonna take this out. And now you would just cut away the inside of the star and you would add the satin stitch just like this is, which would be the next step. Then you're going to stitch each one of these little boxes, um, trim away the inside and then satin stitch it. And then your fabric is ready to be made into your wallet. So you're just going to take it off the hoop. We won't take this one off because we're not quite done yet. You never want to take it off while you're still trimming. Okay, wait till you're done. And then... We're just going to press it because this is a this is a fusible stabilizer we're using. And then we just trim away. Got a little moisture there from my iron, but that will dry. 
and we're going to trim away and then we will square this up to eight and a half inches square and you would proceed to make your wallet like we did before with the sunflower and you'll have a beautiful snowflake wallet so let's think about this folks so you can use lots of fun fabrics inside and one of the things that's nice is you could add some crystals to add a little bling but that will give you your beautiful snowflake wallet. I'm Pam Demore, the Decorating Diva, and thank you for joining me.